All right, welcome to installment number three on graphics. Today we're going to do everybody's favorite thing and try to get pictures. Yes, images, love the images. We just want to get an image to show up on the screen. There are many different ways to make an image show up on the screen. Many, many, many. I'm just going to show you one way. Uh, you may research another way online and find something different. Totally okay. Lots of different ways to do the same thing. We're just going to try to get an image to show up. All right. Uh, the other thing I've done here, if you look at our notes, we got our one, two, three. I added this little comment in here, step three of just creating the piece of paper is that we added all these buttons. In the last installment, we created a button, added to the panel, created a button, added to the panel, created a text field, added to the panel, created a label, uh, set the back or set the color of the label or the text of the labor, label and then uh, added it to the screen. So normally you would create all the components and then add them in the order that you want to add them. I just created, added, created, added, created, added. Uh, we can change the order of this and create everything first and then add them all especially if we're going to use a layout manager, but I just wanted to note all those things. So we're just going to add another one here. We're just going to add another one. Uh, we're going to make a uh, image icon. Uh, and there's lots of different ways to do it. We're going to make an image icon. We'll call it just blah. doesn't matter what we call it. Equals new image icon. And we could go check it out. And just to save us a little time, we go research the API. We'd see that there's an image icon constructor that accepts a string. And the string is the location, or is the name, sorry, of the image file and the class path. But if we put the picture or the image in the same folder of where we're at, then we don't have to give a class path. And we're just trying to do this quickly. So we're going to put the image in here. So first thing we're going to do is get an image. I'm going to go very fast. If this doesn't work for you, it's fine. It may not even work for me. So we'll just kind of experiment together. So the first thing we're going to do is open up a new tab and we will do a search for your favorite thing, whatever it may be. Mine is pony. So I'm going to search for pony images. In Google, you can click on the images tab and look at some really cool ones. A lot of different ways to do this. I've done it where we, you know, I find one, you can change the transparency of it. So image searching is a, an art all in itself. Uh, I just like this one right here for some reason. So I'm going to right click on that or two finger click and go to save image as, not save link as. We're going to try to save the image. Now, hopefully this is a good one. I don't even know if it is. Uh, it does say that it's a JPEG, which is fantastic. That's what I want. The file name, maybe it gives you a huge long name of what they're going to call it. I'm just going to simplify it and call it Pony. I strongly suggest you do that. When you put the file name in there, you have to file the Java conventionalities. So be careful of what you can't put spaces necessarily in there, or it doesn't always work for me. Uh, dashes, be careful of that. So try to stay away from anything that is not a normal Java identifier rule. So I'm just going to call mine Pony, but I do have to recognize that it is a JPEG, and I have to save it in the exact folder that I'm in. So just to show you how to get to that, maybe I go to my desktop, I'm like, oh, where is this project? Like the project that I'm currently in, this project right here, oops, sorry, this project right over here is the one I'm, it's called Class Notes. If you look up there at the top, uh, oops, sorry, I'm going to go on that one more time. It's called Class Notes. Uh, right here is the name of the package. So I need to get this in that exact same package. So it's going to take me a little while to get there. I am going to go to where I, oh, I have this on my Google file stream. So I have to go get my Google file stream. I have to go to my drive. Uh, I know where it's in a Seaver folder. So you just have to navigate through your computer. Uh, it's going to take me a while, a while to get there. It's pretty deep in this nonsense, but you got to find out where did I save this package that I'm currently working on? So Mine is finally right here, class notes. If I click on class notes, uh, this is this is the name of the package of BlueJay that I'm currently in. It has a whole bunch of files in there. We're not seeing them because none of them are JPEGs, uh, but this one is a JPEG. I called it Pony. I'm going to save it in there. And just to see if it's in there, I'm going to go into my uh, computer right now and go to this graphics one, go to graphics 2020. Uh, class notes and hopefully I'll find an image right here called pony it looks like it was still trying to save it to the cloud but now it's in so here's you know here's the Java file the class file I have this other image in here called ace of spades but this is the package that I'm currently in it's vitally important that you save the image in the same location of the package that you're currently working on okay for all of this to work all right we'll head back to my package now and uh, open up my notes that I was working on. So right here where I was trying to create that image icon, I would see that there's one that accepts a string of the name of the file. So I'm going to do pony dot. Now, I know the name of the file was just called pony. However, you do have to put the type of 
file that it is. So mine was a JPEG. Uh, I'm just going to use three digit extensions. So no matter what it gives you, JPEG, even if it says JPEG, but sometimes JPEG works. So I don't know. I don't even know what. I'm just going to say you got to put the extension as well. So you got to know what type it is. And mine was a JPEG. And that just created the image icon. The next thing we're going to do, and there's a lot of different ways. We could try to add the image icon directly to the panel. But a very common way is just to make a J label now. So this is strange, but we'll say J label. I'll just call it pick. Doesn't matter what it's called. Equals new J label. And normally with a J label, we would pass a string of what we wanted on the label. But instead of passing a string, there is a constructor that accepts an icon. And I'm going to pass it blah, which is really an image icon, which is further down in the it's more specific than just an icon, but if something accepts, accepts an icon, you can pass it an image icon. So I'm creating a label by passing an icon to the label. And now I'm just going to add this, uh, I'm sorry, to my piece of paper. The name of my piece of paper is my panel. Uh, and I'm going to add, just like I added a button or just like I added a you know a text field or I added anything, I'll just say the name of the piece of paper dot add, and I'm going to add uh, my J label, which I called pick. Okay, so the three steps to create an image, and you can put your own notes in here, is create the image icon, create a J label, passing the image icon, and then add the J label to whatever component, in this case, the piece of paper. So let's try to compile this, see if it says we're okay, because I could fail multiple times. So let's give it a whirl. Hopefully it shows up for us. And I did get a pony to show up on mine. Maybe yours didn't show up, maybe it was huge. I don't know, but we got that thing to show up. I'm pretty excited about it. It's trying to, you know, use um, the flow layout. So it puts things in there the best it can on the first line. So if I make it big enough, it goes on the first line. We'll learn in a, a future video of how to put these things in specific spots. But that's our first little image that we got to the screen. Uh, last thing I'm going to show you in this video, because we have time, uh, is to try to scale that. Maybe it's massive. So like, how do I scale that thing? Uh, a lot of different ways again to do this. I've looked up lots of different ways. I'm just going to show you one way that I found out works for me is, uh, is to scale the image icon. So you have to do it right after you create the image icon. So I created the image icon here. The next thing I'm going to do is scale it because it's too big. So I'm going to say blah dot uh, get image. And I'm going to try to slow this down. So get image is a method inside of the image icon class or inherited that gets the image part of the image icon, just the image part. So I have just the image part. Uh, un momento, yep, no, we're good. Uh, and then I'm going to, once I get the image, I'm going to uh, set the image. Um, sorry, no, that's not right. I want to get the image, uh, sorry, I did that in the wrong order. I don't want to get the image first, I want to set the image. So this should have been set image, my bad. I want to set the image to what the current image is, which is get image. Oh, that gets a little crazy. So this is the image icon. I want to set its image to first get the current image uh, and then dot and uh, scale. Let's see if I do a control space bar, if it gives me an option here, it's not giving me an option on scale. Uh, oh, it's get scaled instance. I have a little cheater thing going on up there. So get scaled. Let's see if I can do it now. Get scaled instance. Let's see if it shows up. Uh oh, blah dot set image dot get image dot get scaled instance. Uh, oops, they gave me that. That's not what I want. Get scaled instance. Uh, and it allows me to pass some dimensions. So I'm just going to pass it 30 comma 30 comma image dot. Oh, finally got something that image dot scale default will use. All right, that's a lot of chaos that just happened right there. Let me move this over so you can see it. All right. Um, how to explain this? So there's an image icon object. So I say get that, get the image of it, or set the image to the current image scaled to these dimensions, and then don't worry about that. That's how it scales it, but there's different ways to do it. Uh, so we'll put our semicolon there, and that should do it. Let's compile that. It didn't like something. Blah dot. Set image to get image. What is the error message? Oh, no arguments. Oh, yes, 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 yes. All of this needs to go inside. We want to set the image to all of this 
So it's not set image dot, totally my fault. We want to set the image to this whole thing. So this entire thing needs to go inside of the set image. We want to set the image to the current image scaled. Uh, so to make that happen, like I said, I could take all this. Let's see if I can do all that right now. Um, boy, there we go. Uh, having some issues here. I'll delete that. Uh, set the image to. Oops, I needed to get, use the get image too. All of this. If you're copying this, you're probably very frustrated. But welcome to my class. Uh, we're going to set the image to the current image scaled. All this nonsense goes inside here, and then I don't need this dot out here. I don't know how to get rid of that. My picture is on top of it, sorry. So let's try that. Nope. We're missing a parentheses is what it's saying. I love it. I uh, didn't like this one. Get image. Uh, this is blah. Dot given. So we want to set the image to the current image scaled. All right. I'm, I'm, I, that's got to work now. Nope. Get scaled instance, capital S on scaled. Camel casing. I should have known that one. But I could also use autocomplete. But finally it worked. So this line of code is scaling it to be a 30 by 30. Uh, you create the image icon, do that. I'm sorry that took so long. You can pause the video and copy that and get that in. But I'm going to see if it runs. So I'm going to quickly put it in there. Oh my, now look at my image has been scaled to be a smaller size of a 30 by 30. So that's how I currently scale. Uh, it's a lot of different things that you can do, but that's a little quick video on how to add images. Wow! I don't know. That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy.